Good morning, everyone. My name is Minister Robert Williams from God's Miracle Ministry. And today is June the 21st of 2019. I want to let you know that the anointing of God is all over me. The hand of God has been on me really strong for the last two days. And he wanted to me, wanted, God wanted me to do a research on more of the anointing. And today's teaching is going to be on the glory of God and the anointing. This is very important about God's anointing. Because I have been getting a lot of impartations and anointings over the last few years, and especially in the last six months. They are increasing because what God is doing in my life, and not only in my life, I'm beginning to pour out these anointings upon the people around the country. People's lives are being healed and restored. Miracles are happening. You know, as most of you who follow my ministry, you know I have the Azuzu Street anointing on my life. I was anointed with the last three bottles of anointing oil from the Azuzu Street mission that dated back from 1906 to 1909. This anointing that I got back in 2012, it started back in 2010, but it's really changed my life. You know, but this is what God has shown me all my life, that one day I'd be standing in front of thousands of people preaching and saying, in Jesus' name, you're healed. And the Lord Jesus healed them all instantly. God is making this come to pass. But I want to give you a teaching. And, and I want to pour this anointing out unto you. I want to come to your area with this anointing and pass it on. I want to speak at the end of this video and tell you more about these two brochures. One's on the Azuzu Street. The other one's on God's Generals, the Healing Evangelist. God has given to me, Minister Robert Williams, points of contacts, anointings, and impartation from some of the greatest generals of faith. I want to tell you about that. But I want to give you this awesome teaching. And this teaching has opened up my eyes to a lot of things. Things I didn't even know. But I want to give this teaching to you now, so let's get into the day's teaching. The glory of God and the anointing. Everything is about the anointing. The anointing is God's tangible presence. Who would not want His presence in your life? If you only give me one subject to preach on for the rest of my life to the church, it would be on the subject of the anointing. I have been teaching on the anointing many times. I feel I am just scratching the surface of all the anointings that holds. But here I believe that in the last days there will come a greater understanding of the glory of God and the anointing, the manifest presence of God. I just don't want to get to heaven and say, oh no, I was so close to understanding and moving in another realm. I want it all. I want to teach and share wherever I go. So let's look in the Word and see more about the glory of God. 
I want it all. I want all the anointing for the instantaneous healing gift. But let's let's look into the word now. In 2 Chronicles 5, 11 through 14. And it came to pass when the priests were came out of the holy place, for all the priests were presents, were sanctified, and did not then wait by course. And the Levites, which were the singers, all of them of Ashvin, of Hermon, and Judithum, with their sons and brethren, began beginning array in white linen, having cymbals and psalteries and harps, and stood at the east end of the altar, and within with them a hundred and twenty priests sounded the trumpets. It's like the shofar you see back there. And it came even to pass as the trumpeters and the singers were as one, to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. When they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. That then the house was filled with a cloud, even as the house of the Lord. So the priest could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud. The glory of the Lord filled the house of God. When we we see the same thing happening in Second Chronicles seven one. Now when Solomon had made the end of praying, the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the house. Notice that the glory always comes after the offering and the sacrifice, your praise and worship. When you are in a meeting, much of the service is praise and worship. It is the fruit of our lips giving thanks. It is our hands lifted high, our voices in one accord, followed by offering to the Lord. Does your church do this? Do they have praise and worship? Do they give thanks to God? Does your church raise your hands? Do they raise their hands in praising God? If not, you should find out. There's a lot of denominations out there that do not raise their hands. I used to be one of those in that denomination, but no more. I raise my hands and praise God. You need to think about that. What's wrong if you don't raise your hands in praise and worship? you got to give it all to God. Continuing, I think we should keep it in that order. Some of the greatest breakthroughs in our meetings have taken place right after praise and worship and the people giving offerings. People are saved and healed. Lives are changed as the glory of God fills the room.
you know, you can even watch that in one of my videos that I did when I went on tour last July. Go to the Wichita meeting and you can see a bona fide miracle that was caught up on, 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 on tape, on video. It, it only took five minutes and 32 seconds into the video for you to see it. So go check it out. And Matthew 26 tells the story of an offering that was poured out and went all the way to the cross. In Matthew 26, 6 through 13, Now when Jesus was in Bethany, the house of Simon the leper, it came unto him a woman having an alabaster box, a very precious ointment, and poured it on his head. And he said, At meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much, and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why I trouble ye this woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she has poured this anointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall this also this, and the woman has done, be told for her memorial of her. Wow, that's powerful. If you study this passage, you will see that there were in the house of Simon the leper. Leprosy stinks. Leprosy in the world. Leprosy in the word represents sin. Sin which leads to death. But when the alabaster box was broken, the fragrance filled the room and overcame the smell of leprosy. Even today, the smell of sin is death, driven out by the anointing, by the glory of God. Praise God. The anointing will get rid of the sin. Continuing in Matthew 26, 12, notice that Jesus said, For in that she has poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. When she poured the oil on him, it stayed with his body all the way to the high priest's temple. When they took the whips and beat him, the fragrance still filled the air. The sweet ointment was still so strong that it was on him all the way to the cross. Wow! I never realized that in my whole life until yesterday. Never realized it. The sweet fragrance filled the area as he hung on the cross because the woman had anointed him with the oil. Jesus said, She anointed me to prepare me for my burial. That offering still spoke even from the cross. There was still an aroma of anointing. 
And the very word anoint means to smear or rub in. Wow. And uh, on my next video, I'm going to be teaching on how to abide in the glory. But like I said in the beginning, I was going to speak on these two handouts. One is on the Azusa Street Revival, the Jack Cole Revival and beyond, impartation, anointing, miracle, and healing ministry. This is a very powerful brochure. It's going to tell you a little bit what about what Azuzu Street is and what it represents. I didn't know anything about Azuzu Street until 2010 when I met Bishop Otis Clark, the last pastor of Azuzu Street. And uh, so you, if you want one of these brochures, I would gladly send one of these out to you for free. Just send me your name and address and I'll mail one out. Also, I have another brochure. It's about God's generals, the healing evangelist. God has given me, Minister Robert Williams, points of contacts and anointings and impartations from some of the greatest generals of faith. You know, like I said, the Azusa Street anointing oil that I was anointed with was very powerful and has changed my life forever. Soon I should be getting some of this anointing oil from Bishop Otis Clark's family. And I plan on taking this oil around the world to uh, bless others with it. But back in, uh, uh, on December 9th, 2018, I met up with Jack Cole Jr. His dad, Jack Cole Sr., back in the 40s and 50s, had the world's largest tent revival in America. And he went around the world preaching the gospel. And instantaneous healings and miracles and signs and wonders happened all the time there, just as the Zuzu Street did. And then, because I went up to him, Jack Cole Jr., and I asked him for the full impartation for the healing and miracle ministry from the Jack Cole Ministries, from his dad, passed it on to his son, and now his son has passed that part of the anointing on to me. Wow, that's powerful. And his ministry is still continuing by his children and his relatives. So check them out. But after that, God had another divine connection for me to meet up with evangelist Joseph Buford Dow. A lot of you probably never has heard of him. I didn't either until I got a phone call around the 15th of March. He wanted me to come down to Dallas to meet up with him. So I did on the 31st of March. I met, I picked him up at his home. We went to the restaurant where he told me many stories. He's around 75 or something like that. But this man of God, he was the organist for Jack Cole Sr. And he went on to be the organist for William Branham, A. Allen, and Catherine Kuhlman. Wow. This man saw a lot of miracles, a lot of healings that took place in these meetings. And all these evangelists, they all prayed for him. They worked for him, so they prayed for them. They anointed him. Wow, to get all these anointings in one man is powerful. You know, check out who Jack Cole is. William Branham, A. Allen, and Catherine Kuhlman. You check them out. Go to YouTube and check out 
Joseph Buford Dow and hear his stories on YouTube. Check it out. Very powerful testimony. Now I'm friends with Joseph Buford Dow. I pray for him. I, I, I'm sowing into his ministry because I'm sowing in to the anointings, the importations, because I want this. But there's many more stories I can tell you about that. You know, God has put me in a you, you, you know put me in a prophetic ministry. It was called the Prophecy Club in Topeka, Kansas. I, I was affiliated with him back in 1998, and I stayed there until 2008. And uh, I got to meet a lot of senior men and women of God where I first started getting my impartations and anointings. And people started praying for me. This was very important to lead up to where I am today. I used to be behind the camera. Now I'm in front of the camera. Preaching to you right now. But I'm also now going out to churches. Giving out these impartations. And these are very, very powerful impartations. You know, if you want to, if you are a pastor out there, and you want your people, and for you to get another impartation to go to the next level of God, then call me up. If you're having a revival at your church, you invite me, and I will come. I will bring myself and some other members of my team. We'll come. And I can guarantee you will have miracles and signs and wonders and healings happen in your meeting. You will feel the presence of the glory cloud and the Shekinah glory. Just like it was at Azusa Street. Just like was just, I just spoke in this teaching. The glory cloud. Do you want to see that? Do you want to see it? Do you want to feel the Shekinah glory come in? Wow. This is what happens in my meetings. Because I'm also a holder of the glory cloud and the Shekinah glory. God told me all I have to do is ask for it. And his presence will come into the meeting. Just as you see with all the other meetings that I have done here on YouTube. They're in Wichita, Kansas. And into Dallas, Texas. And here in Kansas City at Shekinah Glory Fire ministries. Lives were changed. People were healed. Things happened. You know, last Sunday, I got to plant a seed about this great anointing, about this great importation at Boone Tabernacle, Church of God in Christ. The pastor is Bishop L.F. Thuston. He is the chairman of the General Assembly over the Church of God in Christ. All the bishops all over the world have to answer to this one man. And I was there planting a seed. And you can watch this on my YouTube channel. It was videotaped. Check it out. Let me come to your church. Come to your revival. And watch miracles happen. Well, I'm going to close for now. But like I said, I'm going to do another video on how to abide 
in the glory of God. You know, pastors, if you want me to come, get a hold of my website at God's Miracle Ministry Revival dot com. My phone number is on there. My email address is on there. Contact me and I will come. And if anybody needs a free prayer cloth, as in Acts 19, verse 11 and 12, I will send you one out for free. I will also put that prayer cloth, when I'm praying for it, onto my shofar, because it also has the Azuzu Street Revival anointing on it. You know, here's a picture of Bishop Otis Clark holding that shofar. He was the last pastor of Azuzu Street. He held that for 15 or 20 minutes. People are being healed almost instantly when they touch it. I have a testimony here on my website of a pastor being healed with colon cancer overnight. But that's just one of the testimonies. People get the anointings that come upon them. They feel electrical shocks from their, you know, from their shofar coming on into their body. This is the anointing. This is the healing power of God. So, I hope this message has blessed you. And I want to thank you for watching. And pastors, you know, even if you have a home group, I'll come. Just make sure the finances are there. Hey, I'm there. I want to pour this anointing out to you. For it is time. It says in the word that God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. He's going to pour out his anointing onto the people who want it, who is hungry enough to receive it. If you want it, you're hungry enough, then call me. I will come. Take care. God bless you. And my name is Minister Robert Lee Williams from God's Miracle Ministry. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video.